Welcome to Land a House. I'm Seth. I'm just adding an additional three kilowatts of solar to my grid tied and off grid systems for my house. If you're interested in a quick version of my solar rack mount and installing panels, then continue watching. I've already cleared the trees behind my other panels. I'm going to offset these new panels a little bit to get the best window of sun. And I've already also got the angle I need from the other panels. So this install is going to be pretty straightforward. Now, if you don't have the angle you need yet, you can use an app or I like to use a piece of cardboard with a soda can taped to it. And you, uh, at 12 o'clock or solar noon, you turn your cardboard and can up and wherever there is no shadow is where you want to position your panels. I kind of have mine set for a spring fall so that in the summer they get pretty good sun and the winter they also get decent sun. The first step is to take my two 10 foot two by sixes and place them far enough behind the shadow of the other panels that even in the middle of the winter time, the sun is still gonna be shining on this system. After I've got those two boards in a straight line, I'm then going to dig my holes for the 4x4s to go into. I'm going to use six 4x4s total, three in the front and three in the back. I was able to pull some of my 4x4s from a previous project and recycle them, which is always nice. Once I have the first three 4x4s in the ground in a straight line, I'm going to then attach my two 10 foot 2x6s on there, making sure it is level all the way across. Next, I'm gonna measure back from the first row of 4x4s to install the next row. The main thing is I want to make sure my top 2x6 is going to be within a panel and not interfering with the mounting system of the panel. I'm gonna do the same thing with the two by sixes, just lay them out in a straight line and then use that as a guide to put in my back three four by fours. Just like on the front, I'm going to attach these two by sixes up at the top to make sure I have the angle that I want. I can cut off any extra material from the four by fours with a saw. In order to attach these solar panels to the wooden structure, I'm gonna use a product called Unistrut. This is a metal channel with a bunch of holes in it. In order to get this attached to the wood, I'm gonna make my own brackets. I'm gonna use all thread, which is just a quarter inch metal thread, and you can cut it to length. And then I'm gonna cut some little pieces of aluminum to make the bottom of the bracket. And then I'll use some washers and bolts and to uh, get that attached to the wood. So, Let's step down to the shop and make those brackets. The first thing I'm gonna do is cut the all thread. I need 16 pieces that are eight inches long and 16 pieces that are seven inches long for a total of 32. This gives me 16 brackets. Then I'm gonna use the flap disc on the angle grinder to smooth out the ends to remove the barbs. For the base of the bracket, I'm going to take some aluminum bar and put some holes in it about every two inches and then I'm gonna use the angle grinder to cut that at three inches for the base of the bracket. Now that I have the bracket cut out, I'm going to stick the eight inch piece of all thread into one piece, and then the seven inch will go over here and the other side, just like that. Now the eight inch piece is gonna go on the high side, and so the first thing I wanna do is place these two washers in here, and then I can move my unistrut down. Let's put it into one, two, three, four. Let's go the fifth one and the sixth one here. So I can take this piece of the bracket, go up under here. There's the first washer. Okay, there's the second one. And now it's just a matter of putting these nuts on here and tightening it down. The space in between the mounting holes on the solar panels is 39 inches. I think that's pretty standard, or at least it is on all of the panels that I have. So I'm gonna go from the center of this unistrut 39 inches out and mark where my next piece of unistrut needs to go. Now that I have the first two unistrut in position, I'm gonna use some clamps to make sure holding up these solar panels is not too difficult. So just gonna go right in here at the very end. 
I'm going to mount the panel where my MC4 connectors are facing closer to the other end of this structure. And that's because I want to save uh, some cable length. All right, so those clamps will hold that right there. And I can use a quarter inch nut with a washer and a bolt to get these in place. All 12 of these solar panels have now been mounted on this wooden rack. Things are looking very nice and uniform and straight. Perhaps the most uniform and straight install that I've done so far. You'll notice that all of the positive and negative wires are hanging out of these panels. It's time to get these all connected. Now there are different ways you can connect panels, but for my situation, I need to have them all in series, which means I'm gonna take the positive of this one and hook it up to the negative of that one, and then the positive of this one to the negative of that one, and just go back and forth like that. So this string will be together, it'll come up here, connect to this one and then go down there. So I will have one uh, positive down there and then a negative over here or vice versa. And so I'll have to bring one cable from down there to reach all the way down here so that I'll have the positive and negative of all the panels right here. And that will go down and run to the house. I just found a nice long 10 gauge solar wire in my shop. So let's go ahead and use this as the overall negative for this entire setup here. We'll go ahead and plug up these MC4 connectors, just like this. And then this cable will run all the way back to the front. Now that we know this is gonna be the full string negative, I can take this other panel down here and find the positive. And we can dedicate that one to be the full string positive. So that being the case, I now need to go along each of these panels and hook one negative to one positive here. So if I've got this negative right here, I can find the positive of the next panel. This one right here. And I can go ahead and connect these together just like that. So now this panel and this panel have been connected together. I'm gonna go down the line, hooking up the positive to negative, positive to negative, the whole way down until I get to the other end. I've now reached the end of the bottom string. I'm gonna go ahead and connect to the next panel up, which is this one up here. And now with that done, I'm going to continue along this next row of panels. I've got the total array positive and the total array negative right here. I've got my multimeter. I like to see somewhere between 400 and 500 volts here. Uh, so let's see, we've got DC voltage. Let's go ahead and take this. Let's go here and here. Got 399.7. So that's a little bit low, um, but these are very old panels. So nice. All right. Well, there's our voltage. Just finished getting the 12th panel installed and everything looks nice. Let me show you around here. So the unistrut that was used down here does stick out a little bit on these first three. I then used the very last hole on the rest of them, which puts the uh, piece that sticks up on the top. As far as alignment goes, I feel like I did pretty good on all of these. This one panel right here was a little bit off, as you can see right there and right there, but everything else lined up nice and smooth. Digging the trench and burying the solar wire was beyond the scope of this video. If you want to watch that, I'll have a link to a longer version down below where I took this wire here and buried it down to my outdoor power shed. I went negative to positive, negative to positive all the way down, and then it circles back around here and then goes down there to the final negative. I then brought one cable up here. So I have a positive and a negative that will then 
go as a single set of two wires down the hill. I find this bracket system works well. I've had some solar panels up using that for several years now with no issues. Now the six post design seems to work very well here in my area. If you have a lot of wind, you may want to increase that a little bit or put some cross bracing between the middle of this panel set. So the total cost for all 12 of these panels is approximately $500 for the rack system. The majority of that is the Unistrut because the uh, wood itself and the other hardware is not very expensive. But if you were to install a rack system like this that was uh, pre-built, you'd still have to buy the wood and you're gonna be paying uh, seven or $800 easily. So this is an easy way to save a couple hundred dollars. I hope you've enjoyed this shorter version of installing a three kilowatt solar rack mount and panel system. If you want to watch my longer version where I installed the first set of three kilowatts, I'll have that video linked in the description down below. I purchased these panels from Langston's Alternative Power. He has a great deal on used panels and the shipping is also not too bad. So definitely check out his link in the description down below. I'm Seth with the Land of House channel and I will see you in the next one.